Uh, thank you. I also uh, am very pleased to join my colleagues from the U.S., from Mexico, uh, from the EU as well, and Australia to uh, highlight this uh, new tool that's been given to us from the OECD, the uh, Services Trade Restrictive in, in Index, which we're going to refer to as STRI. <laughs> Um, Canada is a nation built on trade, like Australia, like the United States, and like the EU, and like most other countries around the world. We strongly support trade liberalization, both regionally and globally. Since our government took office in 2006, Canada has actually concluded free trade agreements with less, no less than 38 countries, bringing the total to 43. Now, today's announcement on services underscores the commitment all of us share to further liberalizing trade to create jobs and economic growth for the people that we serve. As has already been noted, the service sector is growing and is a vital component of all of our economies. In Canada, like the other countries represented at this table, it's, it represents essentially four out of five uh, jobs. Um, in Canada, over 15% uh, of our exports are related to services, but I would caution everyone not to lay too much uh, importance on those figures because they really don't tell the whole story. Um, and I note that uh, not long ago, the OECD together with the WTO also did some excellent work on the TIVA, Trade and Value Added, which highlighted how important imports are in terms of driving competitiveness in our economies and highlights also the, the role the services play in that. And today's work builds on that. Uh, one of the reasons why Canada played such an active role uh, in helping develop the OECD STRI is because we want to know more about the role that services trade plays in our own economy and where we fit in, into the uh, larger global economic context. The, re the results of the index demonstrate the openness and competitiveness of Canada's services sector and the value we place on ensuring the smooth flow of services exports across our borders. In fact, Canada fared better than the average in 12 of the 18 services sectors. Obviously, we are pleased with that result, but note that there is still significant room for improvement. And I believe there's not one party uh, that looks at this uh, new tool that will not be able to identify areas of improvement. I can assure everyone that we as a country will continue to work to improve our own outcomes in these areas. As well, Canada looks forward to continuing its work with other OECD members to further improve and refine this particular index while expanding it to include more services, sectors and countries. In particular, the environmental services and logistics sectors are logical candidates for future inclusion in the index. And similarly, the database should include all countries that are presently or in the future become part of the TISA negotiations. And I'd be glad to consider all the ASEAN countries as well, which my colleague from Australia noted. Canada is committed to remaining an active participant in the trade and services agreement negotiations, which complement other trade agreements that we have negotiated to date and are negotiating going forward. Transparency is an important element for our services trade negotiators and for exporters, investors, and importers. In order to tackle barriers to trade effectively, services trade negotiators need accurate, up-to-date information on each country's regulations which have a bearing on the free flow of trade and services. So today's announcement in, uh, of the Services Trade Restrictiveness Index is yet another tool in a suite of products that allows the OECD to act as one of the world's leading catalysts in trade liberalization. So Canada very much looks forward to utilizing this new tool. Thank you. Merci beaucoup.